She's been here all fucking night. She's watched the entire fucking show. So I want you to go crazy and go wild for the wonderful Kerry Godlyman. Oh, thank you. Hello. I don't know why I'm looking up there. There's no one fucking there. There's only people here. This is nice. It's weird. How many times can you say it's weird in a day? Uh, but it's so lovely to be out um, with other humans. I, I, well, but look, I didn't mind bits of lockdown, if I'm honest. A lot of people have been slagging it off. I didn't mind it. There were bits of it I could fucking live with. I, I didn't mind not getting dressed. I totally let myself go. I just I wore Crocs and socks most days. Didn't give a fuck. I only put a bra on if Uber Eats were coming round. I, I did have to pull it back. I looked like Tom Hanks in Castaway. It was making the kids cry, but I thought I better... I'll pull it back, I'll pluck my face. But I, there was, it was quite nice having an excuse to not give a shit. I got my hair done when they... I didn't like it first off when they first allowed it because you feel like... It, it was like the final scenes in E.T. I was like, I don't really want that right now. But I finally got my roots done last week, which is good because it looked like I was wearing a tiny hat. Uh, so I thought I'd better crack on with that. And, uh, but I didn't mind not following fashion, not giving a shit about what I wore. That was quite liberating. Because I'm at an age where I'm sort of, I feel a bit done with fashion. Now, I know, like, I, I, once you've seen Tartan go round seven or eight times, you think, do you know what, fuck it, I'll sit this one out. I think, I'll, I did, occasionally you miss dressing up. Did you miss dressing up? Like occasionally you think, oh, I wouldn't mind. Because some people did, didn't they? People who had date nights. Total pricks. But <laughs> what a fucking stupid thing to do. It's a global pandemic. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I did miss dressing up. Sometimes I wore leopard skin just to fucking laugh of it. Because I like leopard skin. I like the slaggy glamour of it. That's what I like about a bit of... It's got a slaggy glamour to it, isn't it, a bit of leopard skin? You feel like a sort of 50s streetwalker. <laughs> You're like, ooh, might be on the game, might not. Um, it's got that vibe. Uh, but some bits of fashion, couldn't give a fuck. Like jumpsuits. I was rocking a jumpsuit before lockdown. Quite happy to deaf that off, if I'm honest. Because they're a silly garment, aren't they? Because when you wear one, you get the appeal when you first put one on. Because you're like, look at me, I'm smashing it in my middle-aged baby grow. But then... <laughs> It, I, cause it, obviously, it don't matter because in lockdown, it wasn't going out. But when you used to go out to a night out place like this in a baby grow, it always ends badly, doesn't it? A night out in a baby grow always ends with you sat on the toilet crying, pissed in your bra. That's if you even make it out of the fucking thing. That's, that's if you're lucky when you're with your new friends in the toilet that you've made and you can't get your arm hole. And your new friend goes, I'll just shit in it. <laughs> See what I mean about not missing going out? When you're shitting, you're, no. Uh, what else was good about lockdown? I, um, I think, I tell you what, I think some generations handled it better than others. So I'm in my mid 40s. So I think it hit a good time because I, I, look, I was looking for an excuse to do less, if I'm honest. I didn't, I'm not saying I willed a glo global d pandemic, but I, I was looking for an excuse to do a little bit less. And I'm sure that, you know, if you're young, it must have been awful. Like, because you want to go out. You want to go out all the time, don't you? You want to see your mates. You always want to go out, keep busy, keep fucking busy. But I, d <laughs> I remember that when I was young. I remember that feeling. If I saw a gap in my diary, I'd be like, oh, fucking hell, plug that. All the voices will come. But I don't feel like that anymore about going out. I don't want to go out, if I'm honest, uh, most of the time. And I remember, I mean, it must have been awful not being able to go out and get off with people, because that's what you want to go out to do, isn't it? You want to go out and get off. <laughs> I want to go out there and get off with people. That's what I want to do. I'm sure there's apps for it, but I, like when I was young, you, if you wanted to get off with people, you had to go out. You couldn't, you couldn't stay in. You had to go out and get out, and you'd go to any old shit if you thought you could get off. You know what? Do people still say getting off? Yeah. Getting off. It's not, it's not shagging, is it? It's just, it's just snogging, isn't it? Getting off. <laughs> Little bit of a groin press and a snog. That's a getting off. Do you remember when you'd go out and you'd come home and your mum would go, did you get off with anyone? Did you? 
Did you get off with anyone? No, I didn't get off with anyone, Mum. But, uh, and you'd go to any old shit if you thought you could get off with someone, wouldn't you? You'd go to anything. People would invite you out, and you'd be like, well, who's going to be there? Is there anyone I can get off with? Go on then, fuck it, I'll come to your nan's funeral. Go on then. <laughs> Just rock up. But, uh, yeah, don't... Parenting was hard. In, I feel sorry for all the people. All the people up here have been slagging off who they had to do lockdown with. I feel sorry for the people I had to do lockdown with because they had to do it with me. They had to do lockdown with me. And uh, it takes its toll on a marriage. <laughs> lockdown was hard because me and my partner, me and my husband, we're different sort of personality ta- types. I'm quite, a, I'm quite a boshy person. I like to, I like to fucking plan things. <laughs> And he's, he's quite a laid-back person. He's a much more laid-back, spontaneous person. And that doesn't suit my nature. I'm like, I like spontaneity, babe. I like the idea of it. But when you plan on doing it, can you let me know so I can put it, <laughs> I can put it on the family calendar, yeah? <laughs> Laminate it. Uh, so, yeah, we have different, like, nature. Like, he's a sort of one task at a time sort of person, whereas I'm a multitasker. So if he's like doing a task, like loading the dishwasher and we're chatting, he'll stop to make a point, but I can't focus on the chatting now because he stopped putting the plates (laughs) in the little rack. Because when I'm doing housework, I can talk to you and I can do housework at the same time. I can do that. Like, and it doesn't matter what, I, even if I'm hoovering, I'll just fucking shout. I'll just shout. And it, I don't stop to pick things up either. I don't care if it's your contact lens or your engagement ring or your asthma pump. It's fucking gone now. And he's... And, I genuinely do feel sorry for him in lockdown because he's a nice person and I'm quite abrasive. I don't know if that shows. <laughs> he's nice. He says nice things. If I make something for him, he'll be like, oh, the darling, this is delicious. What is that? What is that? It's a cup of tea, you prick. <laughs> so patronising. And his face has changed in lockdown, the way he looks at me. He doesn't look at me the same way. Like, he used to look... It's not romantic, like the face of your partner after four months of intense isolation. It's hard to describe, isn't it, that face? It's like, there's no emoji for it, really. It's sort of like, it's like a sort of care worker nearing the end of a long, (laughs) harrowing shift. Uh, And my children as well, parenting has been a challenge in lockdown. I'm sure we'll... uh, We'll hear more about this as time goes on. The homeschooling didn't go brilliant. A bad day for us was when my daughter broke a fork and used it as a lock to lock her bedroom. (laughs) That isn't a joke. That's just a a fact. That's a a piece of... I don't know where she got... It was on TikTok, apparently. If you break a fork, wedge it in a door, your mum can't get in. Uh... And I thought I'd be a chilled, I thought I'd, I, there's a bit of me that quite fancied homeschooling. I was a bit like, yeah, come on, let's do it, guys. Let's whittle things. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't very, I lost my shit one day because my son had an allergic reaction to a bath bomb. He drank it. <laughs> I, said, I said, why did you do that? Why did you do that? He said, it was, it was so blue and sparkly, mummy. I wanted it on the inside. Uh, And you can't argue with that, can you? That's that's quite reasonable. Uh, uh, We've all been there with uh, with drinks. But, and when I told my mum, she was like, what'd you let him do that for? What a fucking stupid thing to say. What'd you let him do that? I didn't give him a curly whirly straw, did I, mum? I didn't, didn't take him to Lush with a knife and fork. He just fucking... He did it. He just did it. I hate that when people say to parents, what do, you, what do you let them do that for? The worst thing parents, people say to parents is, where do you think they get that from? Where do you think they get, hmm, what's this, a quiz? <laughs> hmm, me? I, uh, my mum says it, where do you think they get that from? I don't know, where do you think I got this from, mum? <laughs> think it through. Uh, 
So, yeah, my daughter was in her room a lot on her phone. She's got a phone. She's 13. She's got a, she's got a phone. I don't like the technology. I found the technology a genuine challenge with lockdown. I'm not very good. She loves it. She can manoeuvre her way around a telephone. Because kids do like it, don't they? She's like Gollum with her phone. She's like, oh, my precious mother, my lovely phone. My lo <laughs> but I... Um, she wanted one for years. She'd been after one for a long time. We used to argue about it. And she'd be like, well, how old were you when you got your first phone? I said, 28. <laughs> so I won that. But, uh, but she likes having it. And she likes being on FaceTime. She, was, she could handle all of this, like all the Zoom, people on Zoom. I don't like the Zoom. <laughs> no, I mean, hello. I didn't mean you. But it's, it's, it's like playing Guess Who in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, isn't it? it the Zoom, and you don't look at the person, you look at yourself. That's the, I can't do FaceTime, because my daughter likes FaceTime because she's young and she's got a young face. But I don't want to do FaceTime because I don't want to look at my face. Because you don't intend to at the beginning of the Zoom or the FaceTime, do you? You're like, but if you start thinking fucking eye contact, but then your eyes slide. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that old lady? <laughs> she looked like that. I don't like it. I'm not very... I don't like technology generally. It was a bit Darwinian, the whole lockdown. The people that could use the technology were doing... They were thriving, weren't they? And the rest of us Luddites were like, I don't like it. I don't... I never wanted any of it. Any, I, don't, I don't have an Alexa. Some people had an Alexa for company, didn't they, in lockdown? I don't want an Alexa. I don't want that nosy bitch in my house, if I'm honest. I don't... I don't want her sitting there in the corner listening in to everything. Oh, looking for a pepper grinder, are you? Thinking about having a holiday in Somerset, are you? Got an itchy scalp, all right, all right. <laughs> Expect pop ups. I never, I didn't grow up, I grew up in, I was born in the 70s, childhood of the 70s and 80s. I didn't have all the machines. All I had, the only machines I had in my house, other than the telly growing up, was a soda stream and a speak and spell, and I used to argue with that. He'd be like, spell letters. I'd go, right, L-E-T-T-E-R-S. He'd go, that is incorrect. Spell letters. L-E-T-T-E-R-S. That is incorrect. The correct spelling of letters is L-E-T-T-U-C-E. -E. Well, that's lettuce, you Texan cunt. Uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to end with that. Listen, you do need to support live comedy. It's true what Nish said. We'll be loose in the world if you don't. Uh, thank you so much for coming. It's brilliant to perform to live humans. Uh, and uh, well done. And tell all your friends to support it and, and all that jazz. Bye. Harry Godliman. Give it up for Kerry.